Hello, my beautiful friends. This is Tracy. Thanks for watching today's video. Now, in my last video, I did a DIY mystery box challenge with some fellow YouTubers and included in that video was this hand painted bunny. Now, because I didn't want the video to be too long, I promised you that I would have a step-by-step -step tutorial of how I created and painted this sweet little bunny. So let's go ahead and get started. The wood circle is from the Dollar Tree Plus section and it was $3 at the time. So what I'm going to do is take off that sticker just by using my heat tool to uh, soften that glue and get that off. I also removed the two sawtooth hangers on the back just using my upholstery tool that I got from Amazon. Now I'm going to give it two coats of paint back and front just with Waverly chalk paint. It is my favorite color plaster and then I let that dry. So for the ears I'm just using this wire bunny frame but I cut off a portion of it because I just want the ears and I just use my wire cutters to cut that and I'm just showing you here just where I cut it there at the bar uh, so that it would all stay together. So to wrap the rope around the ears I'm just using uh, a package of the rope from the Dollar Tree. I pulled out two of them because I wasn't sure how much rope I was going to need but I only needed one uh, package or one skein or however they measure it of this white rope and I just uh, took my time wrapping it around. I used my little clamps to help me hold everything in place, glued it as well, then just wrapped it around uh, one ear and then I did the other ear. Okay, to start a painted project, I use a flat paintbrush and just some milk chocolate brown paint. I dip half of my brush in paint, the other half in clean water. You see me dipping it there, and then I blend on a paper towel. And I like to use a flat paintbrush for this because I feel that it gives me the best control. Now, I have been painting for many, many years, and I'm here to encourage you uh, Practice makes perfect. You will hear me say many, many times, many, many times, the beauty is in the details. And I still mess up, but it's only paint and I'll just paint back over it. Sometimes I get a little bit too much, a little bit too dark. I just go back over it with some paint. Now, um, what I'm doing here is I am stippling on some cheeks. Now, I like the more rectangle cheeks, uh, which are like up and down. And so I just fill them in, get them as thick as I want them for my whimsical painted projects. I'm just using a stencil brush to achieve this this uh, method right here. And so uh, I will have a link to my favorite paintbrushes as well as this chart. I have a link to it that shows exactly what paintbrushes I use for shading and uh, doodling and all of that kind of thing because I do love to um, share the gifts and talents that the good Lord has given to me. Now I have been painting for, gosh, you know, over 30 years and it is just a practice, you know, practice makes perfect. That's what I encourage everyone. Uh, if you don't like it, just paint over it and just figure out what style you like for your whimsical faces or for your faces. And so I'm using a thin brush here. It is a little liner brush that I've had for many years. I get questions about it and it's just something that I've had. I was lost a lot of the bristles and uh, it's just, something. It is my beloved little detailing brush. And so now I just am drawing out some eyes just with the pencil as well as the nose. Uh, now I'm just coloring in the black of the eyes. I like the more almond shape eyes. I'm just using a round brush for this. And uh, I would suggest getting on Pinterest 
searching eyes or cute faces or something like that to see what kind of face that you like. And I'm so grateful, so fortunate that so many friends love the cute little whimsical faces like this. And you send me pictures all of the time. You post it in my free Country Charm by Tracy crafting community over on Facebook. You share uh, your love of cute little whimsical faces as well. And it just warms my heart so much. So then I'm just just using some pink color of paint, just filling in the nose. And you had seen me uh, just, I had drew it out a little bit bigger than I, what I wanted. So I just erased it and get the size that I want. Now the cheeks were just a little bit too bright for me. So I'm just taking a uh, brush. These brushes are from the Dollar Tree and I love the wispiness of them. So I just use some white paint just to soften those up a bit. Now I'm using my little detailing brush again and making some eyelashes. I love to put eyelashes on all of my cute little whimsical projects. I'm also giving her some eyebrows. Then now I am taking uh, just a fine Sharpie marker and just drawing out a mouth. I'm going to go back in and add uh, a little bit more, go over it just to make it a little bit thicker because I want it to be a little thicker. Then I'm going to use an ultra fine Sharpie marker to add some teeth because uh, I wanted to give her a little mischievous look. And so that is what's how I just make my cute whimsical uh, projects, my cute little characters come to life. And friends, thank you so much for being here. If you do not know, I have a playlist full of whimsical, cute little characters just like this. I will leave a link for it so that you can check it out. I have cute little bunnies, gingerbread men, uh, just different fall characters like scarecrows. I have some snowmen, Santas, all of the cute little characters that I love to do. And I am so fortunate and so blessed when people say, I know that it's yours because I do have a uh, whimsical, cute little style that I do have. And I'm so grateful that the Lord has uh, sent you to my channel. And I do hope that you subscribe if you currently are not. So then back to the eyes, I added a little bit of white highlight in there, just using um, a you know smaller brush. Then I use the end of a paintbrush just to give two dots. And then I use one of these smaller brushes just to shade around the nose and then just give a little shading in the mouth. Guys, this is what makes your projects pop when you learn to add a little bit of detailing to your projects. That is the beauty in the detailing. The beauty is in the details. You hear me say that all of the time, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. And so I'm just taking um, a small flat paintbrush and some of that milk chocolate paint, dipping it in the water, uh, dipping half of my brush in paint, the other half in clean water, blending on a paper towel. Then I go around each of the edges just to give it a little shading because that is what makes the project pop. Now, if you get a little bit too heavy, you can go back over it and you can add a little bit of uh, paint just to kind of soften it up a bit. But as I say, the beauty is in the details. And so I'll just continue to use my ultra fine Sharpie marker just to add a bit of the doodling. That is what I like to do. I like to add squiggles and doodles and paint splatters. I just love all of the different, uh, just the accents, that is just what makes my paint it projects pop. I just feel that I've been doing it for over 30 years. I finally found my style of painting. And yes, this is toll painting. I get questions or I get comments that says, that looks like something from the 90s or something from the 80s. Yes. I just continue to do it because it is my style. It is a what I do. And I love that so many friends love this style of painting. And I am just so fortunate to have this platform to share my gifts and talents with you. Now to add the paint splatters, I'm just using a stiff stencil brush and uh, just using a stick. I do glide the stick across the bristles toward my body. I do black first, then I go back and do white. Uh, I always 
you know, pull the stick toward my body so that the paint projects onto my project. Uh, now I'm just adding some freckles just to really bring her to life. And I just use the end of a paintbrush to do that. And I just add some dots on there. Okay. So then once my bunny is dry, uh, I, you know, the paint is dry and everything. I did give it a coat of, uh, gloss varnish because I love to add that. And this one is my favorite varnish to use. Now I'm going to add the ears to the back of the bunny. I just just use some glue as well as uh, some staples. I just have my little stapler here that I'm going in in the wire and use my little hammer to kind of hammer those in. And then to uh, add some kind of like covering for the back of the bunny, I just have this felt that actually is an Easter style. I got it from Hobby Lobby many years ago when they were clearancing that stuff out. And so I am just uh, attaching that to the back of the bunny and it kind of provides a like where it doesn't clack or against the door like pop against the door I, that is one of my pet peeves I hate that <laughs> and so it just kind of covers up the back of the bunny all right so then now I have some florals here and some greenery these beautiful pink ranunculus came from a Walmart and also the greenery I think came from Walmart as well and so then I am just uh, cutting off pieces of that and then I'm going to wire them together and make a swag uh, for the top of my little bunny and I just think that she is just precious and I hope that you think so too. For her bow, I have this ribbon that was in the mystery box that was sent to me from Courtney over at Creative on the Cheap. And so uh, the DIYs were being used were the the items that were in that box. And so that's why I'm using this ribbon. It also came from the Dollar Tree. And so I just made a two loop bow, just kind of, uh, kind of eyeballed it to see how big I wanted the loops. And then I just uh, use a pipe cleaner just to get a good hold in the middle. Then I took off a piece of that green ribbon, cut off the edges with the wire, and then I folded that in half. And then that is what I'm going to glue around the center of the bow just to give it a very finished look. And then I uh, hot glue that to the bow it's or to the garland rather. And then um, I was going to do it just like that. But then I said, oh, no, I'm going to use some of my favorite fine excelsior because i do love my fine excelsior i have been using it for years and it just really gives a wispy whimsical look to my project so i love to use it any chance i get and I do appreciate you watching this tutorial of my whimsical a little bunny that I created. If you are still here and have not yet subscribed, I would invite you to. I love would love to have you join my little family here and check out my other whimsical country crafts. I do love to share whimsical seasonal crafts with a bit of rustic country charm. Thanks for being here. God bless you. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.